A terrarium is an ecosystem that, once settled, provides the atmosphere needed for tropical plants to grow. An important part of a functional ecosystem, and one that's often overlooked, is the use of springtails and microfauna. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use springtails in your terrariums, and by the end of it, you'll know how to create your own springtail cultures so you'll never run out again. For top quality plants and terrarium advice, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be the first to know when I upload a new video every Thursday. You can see my work on Instagram and Facebook under the handle Worcester Terrariums or you can head to my website at www.worcesterterrariums.co.uk. All the links are in the description below. Springtails or columbola are tiny arthropods about the size of a pinhead. There are over 3,600 species of springtail in the world, but the one I use is called Falsomia candida, also known as the tropical white springtail. Springtails are incredibly useful to terrarium hobbyists as they feed on decaying matter within a terrarium, processing fallen leaves and helping to contain mold outbreaks. They breed quickly and can be separated into multiple cultures. A culture is just a separate container that houses a colony of springtails. I'll show you how to make one in a moment. If you've ever had issues with mould in a terrarium, drop me a message in the comment section below. It's one of the most common questions I get asked about and I'm curious to see how you've tackled it. I'm going to show you how to create your own springtail cultures. Here's what you're going to need. Springtails. I get mine from Micro Exotics. The link is in the description. Clean charcoal. I use horticultural grey charcoal, but you can use any kind. Just make sure it contains no catalysts for starting barbecues. It helps if they're in small pieces. Sealed plastic containers. You can use any size that you like. Water. It's best to use distilled, deionized, filtered or bottled water. Uncooked white rice or yeast. So the first thing we're going to do is to fill our container with charcoal. Okay, now fill them a quarter of the way. Okay, now it's time for the springtails. My favorite method is just to take pieces with springtails on and to place them inside. Okay, come on, little springtail. And I always place the food on one side of the container, just so if the springtails want to get away, they have all that space to go to. So, lids on, and there you go. Simple as that. Because springtails float on water, we can top it up. And you can probably see they're jumping around now. And pour some of that water in. Be careful not to overwater your terrarium. Another way to do this is simply just to take a piece of charcoal with some springtails on. Place that directly into the terrarium. So a few things to bear in mind once your cultures are ready. It's best to place them somewhere cool and dark out of any wide temperature fluctuations. Open the lids once every few days to allow fresh air in. Alternatively, you can pierce a few holes in the lids, but I prefer to keep the lids on and open them. When it comes to feeding, less is always more. If you overfeed, there's a chance that you can create an excess of CO2 within the container, which isn't good. So I find smaller amounts of food, but more frequently, and you'll find a nice balance. When it comes to using springtails in a terrarium, you may need to supplementary feed them for the first few weeks. If you place springtails in a fresh terrarium where there's nothing for them to feed on, they will eventually die. Which is why I advise people to supplementary feed. Springtails really are the unsung hero of the terrarium, and it's no exaggeration to say that they save many of my terrariums from death. 
For further discussion on this topic and many others, you can catch me every Monday on Instagram Live at 3 p.m. GMT, that's UK time, or you can join my discussion group on Facebook. It's called Terrarium Group and you can put in a request to join. All the links are in the description below. If you enjoyed this video about springtails, please let me know by giving me a like below, subscribe and comment with what you enjoyed most about it. I look forward to reading your feedback and I'll see you in the next video.